Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com. Fueled by Gatorade, your final score here tonight. Niagara victorious over Norfolk State by the slimmest of margins and the toughest of ways, 85 to 82 here at Joe Eccles Hall. Ross Gordon joined by Spartan Partners postgame player of the game, Derek Jamerson, for the second straight uh, game here at Joe Eccles Hall. He finds the rims to be a little bit uh, pleasing in your sight. Five of six from downtown, six of seven from the floor. 17.6 rebounds. He also had an assist and a steal. First of all, Derek, I know it's tough uh, to sit here tonight, especially with the opportunity that we had to get the win tonight. But talk a little bit about the game as a whole. We started out well, and we started to find a rhythm off offensively. And that's a good thing because we had struggled putting uh, points on the board. Yes, we did. All we did was listen to the coach blueprint, follow behind what he said and trusted him, and then we just did the rest. Uh, you talk about your, your shot. Uh, you were you were labeled as a shooter coming in here, and you'd mm -hmm. struggled uh, the first couple of weeks of the season to find your rhythm. And the last two ball games, it seems like you're trying to get into that rhythm. Mm -hmm. uh, saw the basket really well today. Even that miss that you had looked like it was going down. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a little about what it's like to be a shooter and struggle to get your uh, season started. Basically, when you're shooting like that, it's hard to think about the next shot going in when you're missing so many, knowing that you can score and knowing that you can make that shot. So basically, I just had to listen to the coaches and trust what they were saying was wrong, just being shot ready like uh, you, I'm supposed to. Okay, five or six tonight. I know you've had some uh, nice shooting nights and, and Juco coming in here. And I, I know Coach Jones said when you first got here at uh, Midnight Madness or Spartan Madness was one of the largest crowds you've ever uh, performed in front of. So now, it's, so now it's starting to get comfortable to you. Uh, how is the game coming to you now after, after that start? It's coming to me fairly easy as long as I'm listening to what I'm supposed to do. I think it's uh, also good uh, that the things that we need to clean up, we know what they are and they're correctable mistakes. And uh, it's easy to look at film and say we know what we should be doing. Talk a little about some of those things that we have to correct. We have to correct our defensive rotations and limit our turnovers, which we talk about all the time. So we just have to do it at this point. And that's a big thing as we get on the road and go to Eastern Kentucky. Um, I, I know it's tough after getting that first win to lose the way we did, but how's the team gather itself back together to get uh, towards Eastern Kentucky to see if we can pull off a victory on the road? Time don't wait for nobody, so we right back at it in the morning, get down there and practice, go out there and perform Monday. We'll take thank, this win. Thank you, Derek, for stopping by. Congratulations on a nice night tonight. Six of seven from the floor, five of six from downtown, 17.6 rebounds. And one assist for you. We appreciate you stopping by. And uh, good right, luck for you for the rest of the season. That's All Derek right. Jamerson. Uh, the Spartans fall tonight 85-82 to 82 to Niagara. The, they get back on the road on Monday to take on Eastern Kentucky and Richmond, Kentucky, before coming home for the final area game, as we'll say, against Old Dominion on the 22nd. For Derek Jamerson, I'm Ross Gordon. Thank you for watching NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.